In this video, let's quickly talk about renal mass in the context of point of care ultrasound. Detection of incidental renal masses is increasing as we are doing more abdominal imaging for various indications. Generally, when you do kidney focus, the primary intent is to exclude hydronephrosis. But because most of these patients do not get a formal radiology performed ultrasound after focus, it would be prudent to exclude any incidental masses. To do that, spend a couple of minutes and ask yourself these two questions. First one is, is the kidney outline smooth? Because most of the masses tend to grow outward, disrupting the outline of the kidney. That means kidney, instead of its normal bean shape, um, it changes its shape to something else. And the second question is, is the cortex or the renal parenchyma continuous? Because masses usually cause a disruption or discontinuous nature of the uh, parenchyma. Let's see a few examples. Here is an image obtained from a patient who is on maintenance hemodialysis and uh, here is the right kidney and you can see a mass that is growing outwards disrupting the outline of the kidney. And these hyperechoic things within the mass are calcifications which usually suggest malignancy though not specific. Here is another example where you can see a hypoechoic mass growing outside and uh, the kidney outline is disrupted. Here is the color Doppler image of the same mass showing the distribution of the color in the periphery of the mass. This is an important feature to distinguish mass from a pseudo mass such as dromedary hump in the left kidney or a hypertrophic column of Burton. In pseudo masses usually the blood flow is within the mass. It's, it follows a normal uh, pattern of distribution. Though malignancy is expected to have increased blood supply, um, that blood supply is better detected using contrast enhanced kidney, uh, ultrasound rather than color Doppler. Here is another uh, nice example of a big renal cell carcinoma occupying uh, more than half of the kidney and it is very heterogeneous in echogenicity. This anechoic or hypoechoic area here likely corresponds to tumor necrosis. And here is a color Doppler image showing the peripheral distribution of the blood supply. Here is another example and this image was obtained using a phased array or cardiac probe. Generally when you obtain a kidney ultrasound using cardiac probe, the image quality is not that great. Despite that, you can see that the kidney outline is disrupted and there is an outward growing mass. And this mass was also uh, diagnosed as renal cell carcinoma. Here is another example where the mass is not growing outwards, but it's within the kidney. So here if you closely observe, you see a discontinuity in the renal parenchyma. Here is one medullary pyramid, here is another pyramid, but in between there is something. So this thing here is the renal mass and uh, on further investigations, this was also found to be a renal cell carcinoma. Here is another example. This one is near isoechoic to the uh, surrounding kidney. Only way to diagnose this is by paying attention to the kidney outline. Instead of being a uh, regular bean shaped organ, here this kidney is more pear shaped. So that's what should make you suspicious that there is probably something here. So on close observation, uh, a mass was found which is pretty isoechoic. So pay attention to the outline of the kidney. And not only during uh, kidney focus, you might also encounter uh, a metastatic kidney uh, carcinoma when you are doing focus of the heart or IVC. Here is an example obtained from an unfortunate patient who had metastatic renal cell carcinoma with a tumor thrombus here spreading into the inferior vena cava and into the right atrium. That's all for now and uh, see you next time with another focus pearl. Visit nephropocus.com for more short videos and uh, short focus related cases. Thank you.